it's just three key things that three key things that you need. So like number one, which I always say is brand. It's so like everything starts like with brand. And what I mean by that, and what I mean by that is like people buy brand, people buy brands and feelings over logic. So like, you know, <clears throat> it's, it can be a person like Sam saying to say, like going back to the link tree sites that I, that I was talking about, like, it's plenty of other people making the same exact shit that I'm making. I'm not the first person in the world to make that or to think of that idea, but people buy from me because they, they're buying my brand. You know what I'm saying? Like, so like everything starts with, uh, with brand, you know what I'm saying? Cause you want those, like emo those emotional attachments to people because they'll do, they'll pay and do anything, you know, f for your brand versus, you know, buying buying over somebody else also another thing with another reason why i say start a brand is because people are like really attracted to stories like so like a brand in itself is is, is really like a story a story in a, in a lot of different ways so like you know um how you was how you like to listen to kodak kodak black right? shout out to kodak yeah, man like, yo by the way i came into this podcast so happy because nate had the aux and he played the whole Kodak album. I was <laughs> fucking ecstatic. <laughs> so ahead. like, yeah, bro, like you like listening to Kodak, but like you fuck with Kodak and you fuck with his image, his brand, his story behind like who he is and shit like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's so, like brand just adds like a lot of context to whatever it is that you're doing. So like that's why I tell everybody to start with brand number one. And then what that helps you with when you start to go out and start marketing to people your brand is what drives your marketing. It gives you ideas for your marketing and stuff like that. So, like, if you know who you are as a brand, if you're like a, I don't know, if you're a, a happy brand, if you're a happy brand, when it goes time to like make your advertisements or do your marketing, you're gonna start using colors like yellow or start having a lot of people smiling. You know what I'm saying? Like, it gives you a lot of different, uh, you know, ideas when it comes to your marketing. Now, when you go out, now after brand, after brand is pretty much settled. Now you're going into uh community so this is what i was talking about earlier when i said like relationships matter like the re it's it's like when you building when you building your business it's really like a relationship building game like you're trying to make as many friends as possible like as many you're trying to get as many people to fuck with you like as, as possible really and and then that's that's really what the what the whole community thing is about and that's what a lot of people miss like when they build in a when they build in a businesses they don't have no type of like community Yes. community around what they doing so and that's why it's so hard for people to get sales because they don't have no real community of people so they always searching for the next person to like convince to do some shit but they they don't have no group of people that just fuck with them and follow them everywhere that they go they don't have no real tribe so like that's why having that community is, is really so key so once you start once you develop your brand and who you are now is just time to go out and then communicate you know with people you know, communicate with people who you may like or may feel like, you know, have some type of interest in your brand or your story and who you are. Just really just building relationships with people. That's the community portion. And then last thing is just content. So the content is how you pretty much keep up communication with your community. So I don't know if you're a motorcycle brand and you got a motorcycle community when it's time to make content. Now you're making content talking about, I don't know, how to fix your motorcycle or like. <sighs> How do you it's just to keep up that communication? And then also the content is used to get more people to join your community. So like it's a way for you to like get yourself out there to be able to actually get more people to, you know, join join. Reach your community. people who are not part of the community and exactly. show them why they should be. Exactly, exactly. And just to interject real quick, and this idea came to me and it was so fucking genius. I think Lex was a young lady you was interviewing. I forgot her name. She owned the uh, the the photography brand. Oh, Liz. Liz Liz, 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 Liz. I was telling Malcolm this last night. It was so genius. She was like, "Listen, man. By nature, all humans we like to cling together. We all like to feel belonged, right? We all like to feel like we're a part of something." And she was like, "No matter what it is, music, business, podcast." People are coming there, and what's going to keep them there is feeling like they're surrounded by a bunch of like-minded people, and that's a community part, right? Mm -hmm. Whatever community you grew up in, you feel a part of it, and that's why you love it there. Yep. If you come to a podcast and you realize, hey, man, I resonate with this host, and I can tell he's cultivating a group of people that think the way I think, no matter what quarrels I may have with him, I'm effing with him, and that's why we see... 
when all these stars and stuff, they get in trouble, people stick with them because it's that sense of community. Oh, that's mine. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I don't care what they say about Michael Jackson. I'm part of that community. Don't yep. kick me out. Thanks. And that's why that's so powerful. And she opened my mind up to that. Yep. Yep. So that shit is like, that shit is super important, man. Having having that community because that, that shit is going to stick. That's going to be like the life or death of your business. Like, Cause you gonna get to points where nobody is buying shit or whatever, and you gotta look, you gotta look back on somebody that's gonna buy your shit, mm -hmm. and the only people that's gonna buy your shit is the people that's in your community, people that really fuck with you and love you, man. The good like, old faithfuls. Literally, literally. So like, yeah. Ever told on a nigga? No. Nope. Ever squeezed the trigger? Yeah. Ever set a nigga up? No. Nope. Ever helped a brother out when he was down on his yeah. luck?